I don't see any action to get the testing done uh, that needs to get done right now. My mom got tested yesterday. It seems like there are more tests out there this week than oh, yeah. previously. Def- Stanford opened up the testing. There's definitely PCR testing available now. And you can probably yeah. get your results in three to four days on average, although some labs are super backed up. Yeah, but, my mom said she's going to take three days or four days. Three days, days yeah. 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 Um, but the uh, the stuff that we're talking about, which is the general population testing, I'll, I'll keep saying it. It's so critical that we do this to figure out how many people have already been infected and didn't know it. We don't have that data. That we don't even have a plan for, and it's not on the radar. The task force in D.C. is focused right now on increasing the throughput and the availability of PCR or just-in-time you know, PCR testing. The blood testing. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's all blood testing. Uh, it's just a matter yeah. of like, like the, let me explain the, 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 the PCR test involved, the, the RT-PCR test involves taking blood. And then there's basically six steps that you have to go through with it in a lab. And um, it's done on like three different machines. And the actual cycle takes 30 to 60 minutes or 30 to 45 minutes. So by the time you have that backlog and you can multiplex it. But meaning you can do multiple at the same time and you can kind of do different things. But generally, these machines are not highly automated. There are new machines that are allowing us to automate more of these steps and making them go a little bit faster and do more multiplexing. But it is still a multi-step cycle to take the blood and turn it into a test result once you've amplified the viral RNA and, and, and tried to measure uh, its, avail- its, uh, uh, its content. Uh, and so this, t- this, takes, this takes some time. And so it's a chemistry lab that's doing this work. Um, so until we have a point of care solution, which is like a test strip or something else, and, and these are technically possible, it's just that they're not FDA approved, and so they're not getting made and distributed here. Whereas China and Korea and Italy are using them out of, and they're made in, in factories in China, even though they're not tested and approved in the normal way. Isn't the plan though to have something. these untested tests online this week? Isn't that what they're yeah. saying? Yeah, a bunch of people are buying them. Yeah, uh, but uh, it, it, so I guess the question is, when do you think? We will have these, you know, the general population taking tests and we get like a large scale testing like South Korea did. I think we all agree that's the part of the solution. When does that happen? Unfortunately, we're not parallel pathing it. We've put all of our resources into increasing the availability and throughput of the RT-PCR tests for acute infection cases. And as a result, we have everyone focused on this. There was some lab work and some research departments, I I won't name them, that were working on doing this general population testing, but they got yanked into the the getting the RT-PCR scaled up because, oh my God, we're behind the curve. We got to fix this thing. So we got to get over this first hump. I think once we get over this first hump, then you're going to see people distribute and work on this. Um, and I think getting over the first hump is happening in the next, call it seven to 10 days. And so then it's probably another 30 to 45 days before we get these tests for general population testing more broadly distributed. So call it 45 days out. Um, and then hopefully <coughs> Why can't doc- we do this at the same time? I mean, why can't we parallel this? This makes no sense to me. We're the totally. greatest country and we have, we have so in the many world. scientists and so many entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley that are banging their head on the wall asking this question. I've done so many phone calls over the last few days with people being like, what can we do? How can we get these things made? Where can we go? And everyone's just like flustered. It's really frustrating. Um, anyway, we, we've got a lot of individuals that we're trying to kind of collect together to do this work. Some folks are calling China today. We're trying to see if we can get big bulk orders out of China. We're just going to pay for it ourselves and then try and get some research labs to run the you know research uh, universities around the country to run the experiments for us um, using these untested, unproven, you know, not FDA. Have you run one of these on yourself yet? One of these unproven tests yet? I haven't. I actually, um, a friend of ours, I did one with video on with him this morning. Um, and so, you know, a mutual friend of ours, a mutual mutual friend of ours. Yeah. And so, um, and then I know lots of people that have them and have used them and I've seen them and I've gone through like, you know, I bought a bunch of them. They arrive tomorrow. Um, and so I see, uh, you know, we've seen, we, we know how these things work. They're actually from a reliable source. You know, these are not, uh, yeah, we, yeah. no, no one's actually done the testing to when, prove the specificity and sensitivity. We're relying on a third party, you know, test. So we don't really I, I, know, but I any keep data hearing they're uncomfortable. No I keep hearing they're uncomfortable. What's uncomfortable about them? They stick it very far up your nose. Is that the, what people are referring oh, no. to? Or? You're, you're referring to the RT PCR test. So what you're trying to do there is you're trying to get a sample of living virus on a swab. And the best yeah. place to get that living virus for this particular virus is in your nose or in your, the back of your throat. So they're taking a long Q-tip and they're sticking it up your nose or they're sticking it in the back of your throat. Then they put it in a little solution that will keep the viral RNA alive. And then that's what they're shipping to the lab. And that's what then gets... So it's run, uncomfortable run. to have it that far up your nose is what they're saying that's why yeah. people keep saying it's uncomfortable i've had more uncomfortable things up my nose i'm sure it's fine you know yeah it's just, it's just, <laughs> you know it's a it's a, it's a cute it's a q-tip in your nose yeah 
Yeah, it's a Q-tip way up in your nose. Okay. Way up in your nose. So, so we actually we think are- that mass testing is a 30 to 60 day. Uh, no, no, no. I think it, mass testing, if if in the worst case is 30, is 30 to 60 days, uh, what, what I'm imploring anybody with any influence is we need to get this starting to happen in the next two to three weeks. It needs to start happening in the next two to three weeks. And, you know, this is, this is where I would say there are a lot of other people other than David, myself, you, Jason, the people in our group chat buying tests for the mass population. You know, I just, I just want to say something here, which is it is incredible to see guys like Jack Ma, uh, step up and, you know, do what he can to send stuff here. But I would say that thus far, there's largely been an inverse correlation of contribution and wealth during all of this. And folks that are in a position to help, I think, need to be more vocal. You know, we all can't just participate when the times are good. Take advantage of the bully pulpit when the times are good. And then when times are complicated, disappear and become anonymous. It's part in why I think you and I decided to just do these as often as we can. Yeah. Because at least we can think through the problem so that at least people can hear our voices and understand that we are thinking through as much as possible what to do. I am literally calling folks in Wall Street all the time because... What little I can do to assure them or be a market participant right now to maintain liquidity, I need to do. Because in the absence of that participation, we're going to just create more and more havoc. And I think it's important for other people who are in a position, either monetarily or through influence or both, to be out there right now doing something. You know, they should call Friedberg right now. They should give Friedberg $100 million. We'll go to China. We'll get the tests. And we can do our own broad-based population study right now. Yeah, I would would jump on that. Uh, Right now, looking at the uh, statistics as of today, um, we uh, obviously the total cases in China hit 80,000 with 3,237 deaths. They had only 11 new deaths yesterday. Um, And Italy... Uh, 35,000 total cases, 4,200 new cases, and they added 475 deaths yesterday um, f- with a total death count of 2,978. So that is just stunning what's happening in Italy. And it seems, I don't know if the trend line is it's getting worse or not. Um, but uh, yeah, Italy, Italy, Italy cases just is just overwhelmed. Flat. It's, 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 yeah. a, it's a horrific and awful situation. They're completely out of beds. They're, they're triaging uh, elderly people and letting them die in the hall so that younger people who have a higher chance of surviving can actually get oxygen. It's just awful. And they're having 3,500 new cases or they're at 3,500. Yeah, they're, they're over 3,000 cases, uh, but uh, added yesterday. So th- there is really, it is it is flattening, but who knows if that's because they're just overwhelmed and they can't do the testing. Uh, but the deaths are something that seems to... Look- have Let's gone remember, down the last three days. We're looking at different time series. The number of people that died yesterday are, in fact, the number of people that died yesterday. The number of people that tested positive yesterday doesn't tell you as much because no. the test results may be four days delayed and they may be 10 days into their symptoms by the time they get tested and so on and so forth. So the testing data significantly lags the infected population count, likely. And may may not represent much of anything, right? So there, it's very, and it's also hard to know what the average fatality timeline looks like. There are published reports now out of China and Korea that start to try and specify this a little bit. But we are looking at different time series when we try and compare these things. Um, and so everyone be cognizant of that as you look at these numbers. It's not simple apples and apples. Let's yeah. um, let's move to uh, a slightly uh, second and third order, Jason. I think if we stay yeah, yeah, in sure. the disease, it's just going to be a fucking mental quagmire. We're going to jump out the window. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's. Uh-